Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is GYS. So in, today, uh, in today's video we will be discussing about the topic of malnourishment. So you might have heard in the news friends that uh, there are frequent reports that point towards that how malnourished the Indian children are. So in this video we will be analyzing that why it is so. Why it is the case that uh, India has so much number of malnourished children and why the problem has still not been resolved. So let's see, uh, uh, before starting, let me tell you friends that uh, we have the for the purpose of uh, CSE 2019, uh, we have mains test series and also for the purpose of 2020 uh, CSE, we have prelims as well as mains test series. So you can join our courses and also you can visit our website that is www.achieveis.co.in uh, for the daily important articles and their PDFs. So let's start our discussion friends. So uh, friends before starting a, a very important factor which must be considered uh, is uh, the certain number of facts through which we can start. So these facts are that India is currently home to 40 million stunted children and 70 million wasted children. So friends you might be curious about the fact that what do you, uh, what is what is meant by stunted children or uh, or wasted children. So stunted uh, is basically uh, uh, children is called stunted when he has not grown or uh, fully grown or developed uh, as per his age. So dwarfness we can observe in the children and other thing is wasted. So when the children experiences low weight vis-a-vis uh, -vis his uh, uh, his or her height then we can say that the ch uh, child is wasted so in this uh, in the, these two factors are the important factors which are important determinants of uh, uh, the we can say uh, welfare or we can say healthiness of children so uh, let's see what are the reasons for such uh, such a high number that is 40 million stranded and 17 million wasted children so friends the major uh, reason uh, which which is of uh, for the malnourish, uh, malnourishment is uh, uh, that uh, the mothers which give birth to these children are are themselves anemic and they are malnourished so in india also there is a problem of child marriage or early marriage uh, that is the girls are married in the age when they uh, even when, even even if they are not uh, uh, of appropriate age uh, and uh, even if they are not healthy enough to bear the burden of uh, of being uh, being in a married life so this adversely affects the children uh, children growth because obviously a, a mother who is herself anemic and malnourished how how can uh, can she feed her child uh, her child in in the womb so this is this is a major factor because indeed if we if we see at this uh, if we look at the statistics then 33.6 percent of women are chronically undernourished and 55 percent are anemic so you can uh, you can see that this is a huge number so chronically undernourished uh, uh, percentage of women is nearly one third and uh, uh, more than uh, half of the women are anemic if if we go by the uh, by statements then problem in this way the problem of mal malnutrition is intergenerational because uh, the mothers are not not well nourished so that's why the children also face this problem and uh, other thing is that there is a lack of food security so in this uh, uh, in this factor the multiple uh, multi we can say multiple issues come into play for example there is accessibility issue and then there are affordability issues because sometimes the healthy food is not accessible and uh, and at, at other times it is not affordable so dismal health of indian women and children is primarily due to lack of food security because uh, obviously malnourishment is a condition when when you do not have a, in uh, a, a, a healthy food so obviously uh, if there is a lack of food security then certainly there will be a direct relationship between uh, between this lack of food security and high malnourishment so other thing is that uh, all also this uh, lack of food security is uh, substantiated by the fact that nearly one third of our adults in India have body mass index below normal that is their uh, uh, their, uh, their weight and uh, this uh, 
uh, their height ratio is not uh, is, is not uh, uh, up to the mark so th which shows that uh, adults are not also not properly nourished so poverty is in fact a major factor other factor which is of very importance very high importance is poverty because uh, 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 a lot of people uh, they are poor 20% of uh, uh, indian population is below poverty line and uh, uh, many uh, uh, many households are just above poverty line they they barely uh, manage to remain above poverty line so they, they don't they don't have that much of money to spend on everything so that they can um, uh, they can they can provide a healthy food to their children so this forces in fact uh, when there is poverty this forces parents to go to work for obviously uh, uh, fathers uh, 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 generally fathers also go but uh, but the women also participate in economic activity for example father uh, uh, the the father goes to uh, we can say uh, used to migrate to uh, uh, urban area then then uh, the uh, women are, are are left behind who who uh, uh, undertake agricultural activities which is an important uh, uh, livelihood activity in rural india so when uh, women are engaged in such activities or for that matter as domestic workers due to poverty issues then children do not get proper attention and that's why uh, this crushing poverty which forces women to leave their young children at home this adversely affects their health so this is a major factor other thing is that uh, there is lack of optimal infant and young child feeding feeding practices so what is optimal infant and young child feeding practices I will just give you an example for example the doctors say that the child must be uh, uh, we can say given uh, uh, fed uh, uh, only uh, uh, mother's milk uh, for, uh, for, for for first six months so the, the, this this level of awareness is not there among among mothers among women and also there the, uh, the optimum young child feeding practices are not there because uh, mothers are not educated and they have low awareness this fact is uh, due to uh, uh, we can say gender inequality because uh, uh, our society is a patriarchal society in which uh, uh, women are de denied education and thus uh, due to their low awareness the children also remain uh, uh, hungry and malnourished so that's why it is often talked about that uh, uh, the women education should be encouraged other thing is that there is lack of immunization so immunization is not up to the mark and then there is issue of institutional deliveries because uh, uh, a lot of people do not a uh, uh, lot of women uh, deliver babies at uh, at their home so institutional delivery is not there and early childhood development is not there proper services are not there and then there is the issue of lack of access to safe drinking water so malnourishment is not just that uh, uh, inputs are not being given sometimes uh, 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 the children get healthy food but uh, uh, they are they uh, the safe drinking water is not available to them or proper sanitation is not available due to which uh, various kinds of uh, worms uh, uh, we can say accumulate in their in, 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 uh, intestine uh, which consume uh, uh, the healthy nutrients of the food which they which they take so obviously this also leaves uh, ch uh, children undernourished so uh, we can also link this malnourishment with the lack of uh, uh, sanitation as well as drinking safe drinking water and uh, only uh, it, the fact uh, here it, uh, it is which is very important is that only 18% of the uh, uh, rural households in india have uh, access to safe drinking uh, piped water in their in their homes so uh, this is a major issue so it, it it must also be resolved if we want to deal with malnourishment then there is lack of dietary diversification so sometimes parents uh, uh, have that money that they can afford healthy food to their children but the uh, diet of the family such that uh, that the chill uh, it is not balanced so the children are denied the essential nutrients so they they uh, uh, they, they they get undernourished in in certain in certain nutrients so this is uh, basically due to social behavioral aspects because food and uh, dietary habits are basically part of the culture so they, they are not uh, biological but they are they are eating habits are cultural so this uh, this cultural aspect also uh, uh, plays an important role in the uh, malnutrition and then other 
another thing is that uh, international study also find that uh, it is not just that po uh, that poverty is there sometimes the people have enough money uh, to spend on food but uh, what the people do they spend this money on uh, alcohol tobacco and festivals and and thus they don't spend it on uh, on uh, 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 healthy food so that's why uh, it is not just the uh, the case that uh, only the poverty is responsible sometimes the people don't uh, people have money but they don't spend it productively uh, on on the healthy food so uh, in in this context these are the major problems and the major reasons uh, reasons for malnutrition uh, mal malnutrition so uh, here let's uh, have a look at uh, the various steps that the government has taken so friends the government has taken multiple uh, steps that for example there is a scheme called integrated child development scheme uh, that is uh, uh, that is the, that of anganwadi centers in which uh, healthy nutritious food is provided uh, to children between the age of uh, 0 to 3 uh, and uh, the, uh, 0 to 6 and then there is issue of midday meal uh, uh, then there is a, a scheme of midday meal in schools and also we have lot of other pro uh, programs for example which directly or indirectly uh, have a bearing on uh, we can say this uh, malnourishment so for example we have national health mission that is janani suraksha yojana and then there are other uh, other programs for example national rural drinking water program uh, uh, which about which i have told you that only 18 percent households are covered by piped water so they in, here also the implementation is not pr uh, proper and then there we have uh, matritva sahayog yojana sabla for and adolescent girls and then midday meal scheme targeted public distribution system uh, uh, pds system under the food security act of uh, 19 uh, uh, sorry 2013 and then uh, there is the national food security mission also in Reagan national rural livelihood missions also but uh, somehow I, uh, each and every program is lacking in certain respects that uh, because, because of which this problem of malnourishment is enduring and then there is a recently a step taken by a government that is it it has launched the national nutrition mission and also the portion of yarn so the full form of portion is pm's overarching scheme for holistic and uh, 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 for, for for holistic nourishment so here the program program focus focuses on the use of technology a targeted approach and con convergence and uh, it uh, it for it uh, uh, looks at the problem of malnutrishment of uh, holistically for example it targets to reduce the stunting under nutrition uh, under nutrition anemia and low birth weight in children and also it uh, it uh, it it uh, focuses upon the adolescent girls pregnant women and then lactating mothers so thus it tries to holistically address the problem so then there is also food fortification which is taken by the government in which what we do uh, uh, we uh, the, the simply the, uh, the micronutrients in which a particular food is lacking that micronutrient is uh, 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 kind of uh, enriched in that particular food so this is called food fortification so government is also allowing, allowing for food fortification and then there is release of nutritional data uh, to address the issue of malnutrition more holistically so there are multiple steps but they are not uh, uh, we can say uh, yielding results so what should be the way forward in this context so friends the way forward is that uh, uh, as, as of now India uh, faces dub a double burden of malnourishment it is not just uh, 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 under nutrition it is also the, the problem also is of uh, uh, over nutrition which is emerging among the wealthier sections of society so there is a need to reiterate the pr uh, uh, priorities which may include we can say uh, target on the mothers uh, spread the knowledge about the balanced diet and awareness and then spread awareness about safe food and uh, about diversifying food baskets and also focusing upon the uh, uh, hygiene issue for example there is such Bharat Abhyan so uh, spreading awareness and uh, uh, telling people that there is an interlinkage between uh, uh, cleanliness and health uh, that is very important and, uh, and uh, uh, the every program which which uh, focuses on malnourishment must put women and children at the center stage of any nutritional intervention because women are a key stakeholder in this so obviously you can uh, we can leverage on modern technology because there is spread of social media and then uh, uh, people have access to internet uh, they have access to telecommunication services so we can impart nutrition linked messages we can uh, uh, government can send uh, nutrition linked messages uh, messages in local languages in the respective regions and then there must be sustainable agricultural practices and uh, there must be also focus on wash for example wash means uh, uh, water and sanitation
meditation proper there must be proper focus on this because there are many underlying factors which which uh, which which are responsible for a hidden hunger so they are complex and they they go beyond direct nutritional input so the, merely providing nutritious food is not enough uh, maintaining uh, cleanly lives uh, and spreading knowledge and then uh, 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 we can say follow up uh, 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 following balanced diet, these things are very important. So they must also be pushed for uh, toilet construction and their usage. And lastly, there must also be focus on aligning agriculture policy with national nutritional objectives. So agriculture policy must be in a manner that uh, uh, the farmers are encouraged to 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 plant uh, uh, nutrient rich and local crops for self consumption. So in this way, uh, we can solve the problem of malnutrition. So this is the video. Uh, this is about uh, all about friends today's video and uh, uh, lastly again uh, this uh, if you want to read more such articles you can visit our website www.achieveis.co.in and you can also uh, uh, download the pdf of this lecture on this website and in case you are interested in our test series then you can join for our mains test series of, for the purpose of csc 2019 and then you can join for prelims come mains test series and then current affairs test series so links are given here and they will also be provided in the description box so this is all about today's video if you liked it if uh, uh, if you uh, f uh, find it worthy then do ensure that you share it with your friends and do ensure that you like it and lastly do ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day